welcome to a tutorial on we do robotics we're going to show you how to build and program the alligator you can follow the same step to build any of the we do robots you want. it really isn't hard we'll show you how we do it it only takes a minute or there's really nothing to it with the goonies and the goonies never stay tired and all we do is go to the goonies and we These are all the pieces you will need to build this model. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all these pieces. And this is what your alligator will look like when it's done. When you open the WeDo software, this is where you'll find the step-by-step -step building instructions. Choose the model you want to build, and watch the video if you want, and then follow the step-by-step -step directions on the screen by clicking on the forward or back buttons. This one takes you to the next step, and this one takes you back a step. So, here's how you build it. Make sure the red bricks are as far apart as they can be before you try to attach this part. It should look like this. We found it easier to attach the rubber bands when you start by attaching it to the green pulley. This is how it looks once you've built it. First you find the start button and drag it out onto the white space. When you click on this button, it will start the program you create. Next, drag the motor that way block and connect it to the start button. This will tell the alligator to open its mouth. Then drag and connect a motor on for block and type a 5 into the box. Since a 10 in this box equals 1 second, when you type in a 5, it will tell the motor to stay on for half a second. Then drag a motor this way block and attach it to your program. This will close the alligator's mouth. Finally, drag a motor on for block and type a 5 into the box to tell the motor to be on for just a half a second. This simple program will make the alligator's mouth open and close. Once it's plugged in, press the start button and your alligator will open and close its mouth. Now, this is the motion sensor. It detects the motion of any objects within 15 centimeters or 6 inches. If you put a weight block at the beginning of the program with a motion sensor attached, you should be able to put your finger in the alligator's mouth, and the alligator's mouth will close on your finger. This is the repeater. This is what you use to repeat parts of programs or whole programs without having to place down a bunch of program blocks over and over again. If you repeat this part of the program, the alligator will open and close its mouth repeatedly until you press the stop button. If you want it to repeat just four times, simply add a four under the repeat symbol. Now that you know how to use all of these different programming blocks, you're ready to make and run a full completed program. Here's an example. You don't have to follow our program though. You can use your own imagination and create your own programs. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please let us know if this tutorial helped you, and check out our other tutorials when they come out. We'll see you later, alligator! It really isn't hard, we'll show you how we do it. It only takes a minute, oh, there's really nothing to it. We're the Goonies and the Goonies never say die. These are all the pieces you'll need to build this model. It's the Goonies and the Goonies never say die. It's the Goonies and the Goonies never say die. It's the Goonies and the Goonies never say die. It's the Goonies and the Goonies never say die. It's the Goonies and the Goonies never say die. It's the Goonies and the Goonies never say die.